Hello everyone, Chopper Gaming here. Welcome back to my channel. We're back in Watch Roof Realms, and in today's video, you're going to have a complete guide on Gear Raid 1. You're gonna be having the team to be using up to stage 10. I'm not gonna be using any legendaries, any exclusive heroes. All the heroes I'm going to show you today, you are actually having in the start of the first week. So let's just check it out and give you everything you need. So let's go to heroes. As for the team I'm gonna be using today, I'm starting with Mary here since she She's a mage and with the slow effect from her skill gonna be really effective in this one especially because we're facing many heroes or many enemies and having an aoe aoe damage dealers will be making massive changes and then the next one going to be bryna she's not really good in this one especially because using mage heroes gonna be more effective than physical hero but she's still doing a great work comparing to the lower stages later on she will be replaced with more mages but for now she's great to be using up to stage 10 you can be using her in a stage higher than 10 but you won't be really feeling she's doing great the next one going to be from the tank gonna be mirail because of the part with her healing skills and then we have him from the support gonna be using just one here which going to be camille she's a single target healer she's great in this one especially because she's the only reason we're gonna be using a healer going to be to be focusing on the heroes beside the wall since when we the wall is being hit the ones close to the wall will be getting damaged and then we have an other one going to be uh, rare going to be voltos is really one of the main heroes i'm using for this team to be dealing massive aoe damage dealing especially with his basic skill he can be hitting multiple targets which is really really great hero and then we got the last one going to be nairo he's a fire damage dealer and he's great especially because he's ultimate dealing damage to the heroes around the target so it's helping out with even more damage dealing he can be adding just for extra slow he can be using a lucas here his skill helping out with the slowing but it's just an optional it's all up to you for me this is a team i'm gonna be using in today's video so let's go to the raid we're gonna be going for stage 10 since this is the start where we can be getting legendary gears and that's the point to be able to have a chance to get the legendary gears and we go for the fight so this is the heroes i'm gonna be using like i said it's rest start we're starting with mary in here we're gonna be putting mary in this area over here to be able to cover these two tiles and then we have in voltox from this area to be the one that will be standing here his basic attack will be hitting him and then it will be bouncing to the one close to you see he already hit four targets by just the, the basic and then we can be using um, a lucas his skill helps with making the eyes area and to be slowing the enemy and at the same time dealing more damage let's put Miran, uh, Bryna here now let's make it to a higher speed so now this is the four we deploy first and after that we get uh, Camille to put her in the back to be healing Marina, uh, Mary and the ones that will be in the, uh, in the front row here. We're starting with uh, Ayn. And the last one going to be adding uh, Nairo. As you can see, the four that dealing AoE damage, dealing, doing massive damage. Especially the main reason I'm using them to be trying to deal damage to the two tiles in here and the same time focusing on every single enemy around in here not just one or two single target in this one will not be helping out at all it will be just making it more harder so as you can see i'm already even ein he is actually doing aoe damage dealing to the ones in the same line now let's get right of this pile over here and then we put this one here there we go. Yeah, but now it's actually time to be killing them all. Yep, you're going to see that it's just going smooth. And now we use the freeze to be just freezing everyone. Well, the boss himself not going to be freezed, but the others is more important. And now, it's just getting done. Even the first wall having got broken. So yeah, 
this is a team that everyone can be using in the early stage you don't need to be using any legendaries to be actually making it to stage 10 the only thing you need to do is leveling up the heroes as well as making them higher star maxing the extra star for them or the purple star or the evolve or how you'd like to call it for the gears it's situationable like voltox you can be focusing on the crit that's actually what i'm doing for him i'm focusing on the crit to be increasing his crit damage and the same time for um, mary is the same thing too and the last one going to be well um i would say maybe Bryna, but she's not really doing that much of damage it's more to be focusing on the magic damage dealer we have in mary and then we got voltos and nairo these three are the ones that you need to be focusing on the crit damage and the crit rate to be making them dealing more damage and we have in Elucas for the slow and the same time some aoe damage dealing as well so yeah this is all the heroes that you got you can use to be making it up to stage 10 for the gear raid one completely out of legendaries out of exclusive heroes and it just went all the way smooth that's all guys for this video i hope it's going to help you to be able to clear more stages and be able to complete your team to get a complete legendary set at least from gear raid 1 i'm gonna make another video for gear raid 2 gear raid 3 with different heroes yeah i'm gonna be showing the same team you can be using it actually for gear raid 2 and 3 but we're gonna be talking about each one of them in a separate video to be giving you an overview as well how to be the placing and how to be deploying them in order that's all see you all with another video till then take care and enjoy your game